Uh, sit down, Frank. I wanted to sound you out about something. Of course, Prime Minister. It's about Humphrey. I'm wondering if he hasn't got rather too much on his plate. Oh, I'm sure he can manage. Tremendously able. You don't think he's overstretched? Oh, no. Got it all under control. No problem with that. I see, because I was wondering, just speculating, of course, about his position as head of the civil service. Ah. <laughs> it could make some sense if everything were to be transferred to the Treasury, if you think you could do part of Humphrey's job. Oh. <laughs> yes, that could make a lot of sense. But if, as you say, he's not overstretched... Ah. When I say not overstretched, <laughs> I was, of course, talking in the sense of total cumulative loading taken globally, rather than in respect of certain individual and essentially anomalous responsibilities, <laughs> which are not, logically speaking, consonant or harmonious with the broad spectrum of intermeshing and executive functions, and could indeed be said to place an excessive and supererogatory burden on the office when considered in relation to the comparatively exiguous advantages of their overall centralization. <laughs> You could do part of Humphrey's job. 